Alright, Ludicrous Gamers, it's Malifios here with another calculator tutorial. Today we're going to be doing some uh, displaying of not just numbers, but also graphs, and uh, we might even get to some controls today. So, if you were with us for our last tutorial, we did the quadratic formula here. So that should still be there, unless you deleted it. But we're going to head over to Create New hit enter and a common question that you have in like algebra classes is they give you some points and you have to find a line so that's what we're going to do today so we're going to say call it like line find line find there you go there's your eight letters can't do any more than that hit enter and we're in so now we're going to hit the program button once more and again you have your controls over here not going to worry about that right now input and output we used prompt our last time but this time we're going to use input because we're going to have uh, variables named x1 x2 y1 and y2 and if you hit prompt and type in x1 it's not going to know what to do because that's not a variable so we're going to hit input and we're going to hit quotations, <clears throat> type in x1, second math is going to give you your equal sign, equals, alpha plus ends the quotations, comma, and then we can only name it, we have to name it a letter, so we'll just name it A for simplicity reasons. Now we have to do this again for each of our variables. Display or that's quotations. Uh, y one again equals, and we'll do a different variable. We'll do b. So this is going to input for x one and y one. So that's your coordinate pair, your first coordinate pair that they'll give you in the problem. So now we can do it again for the next coordinate pair, alpha quotations, x2 this time, second math, enter, quotations, comma, c. Once more for your y2, it does get a little monotonous, but that's part of the programming thing, that equals quotations, alpha D. So there's your input. Um, that's why prompt is a lot easier to use, especially when you're just inputting single lettered variables, but when you're doing something like X1, you have to use the input. Um, you can't, um, like prompt, you can't just say comma, next one, comma, next one. Um, you have to do an individual line for each variable. So that's it for our inputs. Hit enter. Now, um, for this, we're going to use the slope equation. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to use our letters that we assign the numbers to. So we're going to hit parentheses alpha d minus alpha b. Oops. Alpha b. Whoa. Oops. Hold on. Alpha b. There we go. And that parenthesis is divided by alpha c minus alpha a. Close off those parentheses, and that's your slope equation. So just like last time, we're going to store it, hit the store button, into a different variable, call it m. Because in our standard linear equation, our slope is always m. So now we're going to hit enter again, and this time, to find the actual equation, we're going to solve for their b, because uh, when you have the y equals mx plus b, you have to plug in one of these coordinate pairs along with the slope to solve for the b. So, um, let's do that. Uh, we're going to use the first coordinate pair. It doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, you use the second coordinate pair as well, but we'll do it this way. Minus um, our mx. So, m, 
A, because A is X multiplied. Actually, we don't really need the multiplication sign. Putting variables right next to each other is the same thing as multiplying them. So just to keep your code simple. Parentheses that, and that should be your B variable, if I did that correctly. Y, yes. Yeah, so that's your B. Um, and now we have our full equation, so we can start displaying stuff. Um, this should all be pretty straightforward at this point. Um, not much different than the last, but I'll show you in a second what we're going to do. So hit the program button again, over to display. Go to display. Enter quotations. I didn't mean to put in alpha lock. Um, Actually, yeah, that, that works. So we're going to output the slope. We're going to put, where is L? Slope. Like that. End quotations. Make sure you take it off of alpha lock or else it'll freak out when you do that. Give you a J. Um, slope and then the, we have M here. So that's going to display the word slope and then the number whatever the M is. So then we're going to hit program again and display the Y intercept, your B va variable. Oops, move, oh, no, Mac. Quotations, Y. We're going to use a minus for a dash because we can do that. Uh, int. And that's all we really need. So, and your alpha lock comma b. So that's it, if you want it to be it. Um, there's another thing that I'm going to show you now that is pretty cool, I think. Um, we're going to display the graph of the line, actually. So we're going to hit enter, and we're going to go to program. And now this is going to be our first control. We're going to scroll all the way down to 8. Number 8 is pause. And what pause is going to do is it's going to pause the program. It's going to um, take the take the first part here before the pause. It's going to do all that. Once it hits the pause, it's going to uh, stop and wait for an input or an enter, basically. You have to hit enter, and then it'll continue on with the program. So we're going to hit enter and go to the next line. And now we're going to do quotations. Um, let me see, we're going to do M, X, plus B, end quotations, and now we're going to store, we're going to hit the store button, we're going to go over to variables, this button right next to program, go to Y vars, your functions, and your Y1, and what this is going to do is that's going to stick this in your y equals menu. Okay, so oops, let me go back now. Sorry. So that's that's what that's going to do, and it's going to enable it to graph it. You can hit enter one more time. Go into program and scroll down to your four is display graph, and that's it. That's going to display your graphing function. And you know what What would probably be helpful is if we added a line. Oops. Go to the end here. Second delete is insert. Enter. There you go. Insert a line. Uh, we're going to clear all the other stuff that might be in your graphing thing. So we're going to turn off... Um, Yeah, we're gonna turn. Well, we're gonna leave axes on. They should be on unless you turn them off. We're gonna turn your expressions off, and that should get rid of them. So let's test that out. Hit the program. Line find comes up first. Enter again. Give your thing. We're gonna do a simple one to make sure it works. Just put zero zero for a first coordinate pair, and three. 3 for a second coordinate pair. Slope, y-intercept, that's right. Let's see it graph. 
And there you go. That's your graph. Pretty nice. And if you go over here to your, well, you have to get out here. Go here, you'll see MX plus B. And that's just, the M and the B are the numbers that the program uh, put into them already. So that's it. And that displays your thing. And now you can go back. There's your thing. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. And hopefully that helped you out with a little bit of you know the inputting rather than the prompting and um, displaying the graph. That's um, just another display option that you can do. Also inputting to a, a function of a variable rather than just a regular variable. And uh, of course you have to use quotations. Always remember if you're going to input into an equation like that you have to use quotations. Um, <coughs> Uh, and express well yeah expression off again you just use second zoom that'll bring you to your expression area and this is just your graphing stuff so your expressions are off you can label your axes you can turn those on and off that's just what that is um, nothing major and pause button that's your first control that we've learned um, so far and that just pauses it as you saw just waits for you to press enter to continue on with the program. So I hope you guys um, learned something there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hopefully the program helps. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments. Also, um, thanks to chemtech.net. I said .com in the last video. Um, but it's .net, and that's where I'm using their calculator emulator. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well.